Yeah, why is the crowd screaming? What's going on? Because there's blood. Somebody should really go out there and help us. What's up, everybody? I'm on my way to Canadian Wrestling's Elite Back to School Bash in Amaranth, Manitoba. Cue the intro. I'm a Canadian indie wrestler. You probably have never heard of me. And I'm winding down my career. Follow along to see my journey. Cool. What I didn't say is I'm running about five minutes late. I had a bit of a squirrel disaster this morning. Uh, one of my houses, there was a squirrel getting into the attic, so I had to go clean that up and make sure the squirrel couldn't get in there anymore. And a little bugger was sitting on the roof looking at me. No, I didn't kill a little squirrel. Although if I had a gun, maybe. So I literally just had to rush home and hop in the shower. Um, I'm wearing my good old CWE hat, but I found, I don't know if you can see it here, it's covered in cat hair. My cat Fluff decided to uh, sleep in this hat, it seems, so I'll have to kind of shake that bad boy off. Um, I'm meeting the guys at Flying J, good old Flying J, but again, I'll probably be about five minutes late. Don't tell them I stopped for a coffee. Do me a solid. If you can't buy me a beer and bologna sandwich, follow me on social media. Since I was rushing, I don't know if I did a good job shaking my head. I know the back of my head might look a little choppy, but I did mention I got a coffee. It's our little secret, but I asked people at Tim Hortons to give me a receipt, and they looked at me like I'm crazy. But I want to share with you, I have now cashed in another $40 from Receipt Hog. So that means so far since I've started using Receipt Hog, I've got $120. And that's all free, free, free money. If you want to sign up for Receipt Hog, Google it. You can sign up for free or you want to do me a solid and give me a few bucks. I think the link will be in the description. So a lot of people have been asking me about the CNWEA and if I got my money. Well, I haven't got my money yet, but uh, Louis promises me he's working hard on getting me my money. I should get it by this Monday or Tuesday, so I've got my fingers crossed, and Louis never screwed me before, so hopefully it works out. And it does sound like CNWEA, at least Winnipeg's version of CNWEA, has folded and will not be running wrestling shows anymore. Louis is going to focus on running Christian rock concerts, which I'm really excited about. And to prove there's no hard feelings, I told Louis, once he gives me my money, um, I'll give him his belt back because they're closed, and I'm going to take the guy for lunch. Maybe that will make the vlog. Sounds like a couple of the other guys are running a bit late, and it looks like I've actually made up some time and I'll be there on time. Um, I'm going to complain for a second. My freaking left elbow has been killing me for about two weeks. I've been uh, lifting heavier when training and maybe it's just old. I don't know if it's arthritis or if I just, I don't know what it is, but uh, it freaking sucks. Um, anyways, that's my rant for that. I was supposed to be here at two and thought I was running late, but it's 1.59, I made it. Oh, yeah, this is a real good merch here. Oh, I see his commercial. New Cheeks t shirts. New Cheeks t shirts. New Cheeks t shirts. Oh, yeah. Look at this, all reserved. It's gonna be a packed house. It's that time. Five star bathroom review here in Amaranth. Now I'm in here, and I believe the guys have been using this all day, but I'll tell you, oh, it smells so good here. Um, I checked it out earlier. The toilet is nice and clean, which is awesome, because I know I like to use the toilet at the venue. The urinal has a nice puck in there, so it doesn't stink. You gotta love that. You got a little bit of mango here, so I give this one. 
of five stars. Good job, Amaranth. Oh, and it has a toilet plunger just in case. Check out the merchandise at the CWE table. Like that. <laughs> Check out the CWE poster now. Take a look. I've been working out. Look at those muscles there. You gotta like that. Splat the guy. Hold on. Let's see. What do we got here? We got Splat the guy. We got the Rebel Mummy Cones uh, posters. Oh. Brendan Cones posters. Light up signs. Oh. Batman stuffies. Keychain. I need a keychain now. There's one in the works. History not me. Not hate signs. I only got one of these left. Where'd you get these flat guys? Oh man, spot that's, that's, guy, spot the guy, spot the guy. Spot, I'll, I'll tell you on video. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. The music yeah. playing, I might. Uh, I got some t-shirts there. See the t-shirt? Uh, no, I mean the, the blankets. The blanket. I know, I know, I know. I need a Bobby Collins blanket. You do. Queen size bed. You should get some. Tip jar. I've got pennies in it, just so nobody wants to tip an empty jar. Camden. Oh, hello, hello. You know the door's open in what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. You know, all this music you're playing is making it tough for me to get any context. I don't want to get, like, what's it called? Copyright and strike oh, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, we yeah that. we that's can. right, you can't. You should play generic music. Okay, yeah. Wrestlers, the champ himself, Niblo, and Rob Stardom outstanding the merchandise tables. You'll be able to, if you want to, come around, say hello, take a look at t shirts. Autograph pictures, all sorts of things. A hat is with Rob Stardom. The hat's one of the big things. Very important. You know, I've never actually worn a hat, Rob. You need to buy one. I need to buy one, apparently. So you're a small town boy. Sure I am. Did you have problems finding the venue today? You know what I did? Well, I texted Cheeks. Yeah, yeah. I asked him. City Boy Cheeks. City Boy Cheeks. Born raised in Winnipeg. I asked him, where's, uh, where's the venue? And he gives me the physical address. <laughs> I didn't even know the street names in my town when I No, <laughs> you just said it's like the first left yeah. after the gas station. Or the first right after the gas station to the liquor store. It's all the same thing. Hey, but Cheeks doesn't know. He, Are you, is there a liquor store close by? Of course there is. You owe me a beer? Shit! I mean, no, no liquor store is nearby. <laughs> Small town boys are good boys, not like you. At the merch table flying like an eagle.
right, so... Uh, As a shame, they're just beating down. Someone... Someone should do something about that. I mean... I mean, not me, but... But somebody. Somebody should really go out there and help her. Such a good guy. Such a great guy. Cheeks, why are the yeah, why is the crowd screaming? What's going on? Because there's blood. Who's bleeding? Blood. Um, both of them. Who are they? Bobby Collins and Easy Racker. Is it good blood? Lots of blood? Put on cologne. You're smelling a little bit better. Deodorant, right guard, the cheap one, $2.99. Uh, I thought it was it smells like axe. Oh, well, right guard for men. Oh! See that? Axe, axe, axe. It hurt, man. Oh, what happened? I missed. <laughs> That's not funny, Ronnie. That's not funny. My period blood. Oh, no, I can't keep you. What's going on? Look, look, this is blood. It's dick blood. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was coming for you in Amaranth. And I did it with my fans from Amaranth. <laughs> hey, tell me about that headlock I gave you a few minutes ago. You're so sweaty. You're like a sponge. Uh, it's just like you're a sponge. You're a sponge. You're a sponge for headlocks. <laughs> You're handsome. Yeah, I know. Second best looking guy here. I'm the most handsome. Buddy, you need a 10. You need a 10. You're, you're fourth ten. most handsome. Fourth? Yeah, Bo Doyle's more handsome. Oh. He doesn't rule. <laughs> We're wrestling. I can't video him. We're wrestling. Buddy, the most handsome. Yeah. Look at this. Why didn't you do that for the CNWEA? Oh, we shouldn't be promoting anything. And this other guy is partners with him doing the same thing. Neither one of them should be near a ring or involved in wrestling, period. There's another guy named Player One, same thing. Okay, you are good wrestlers, but the problem is you guys as promoters are fucking idiots. Whoa. <laughs> I'll have to beep that out. Am beep. I fucking wrong? What, what about, don't bleep it out. You didn't bleep out the other guy. <laughs> he went off on a tangent. I'm just saying it like it is. They're both pieces of shit and shouldn't be involved with wrestling. You should just put me over. You're, you're a better man than that. You shouldn't be wrestling for these guys. Oh, I know. I I need. I did it for the content, Bob. I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to experience you, you it. You helped the guy out by getting him a room and picking him up. They would have all left him there sleeping on the bench. I know. I'm you a You made a name for yourself right there instead of wrestling the idiots that they had wrestling. You're a better guy than that, Rob. Oh, I know. I, I have more fun wrestling Bobby Collins than... Uh, well, you, you have a lot of fun teaming with me because I take the heat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I didn't take, oh, I, oh, Doyle bumped me around a couple times today. I didn't see it. Uh, Is it going to be on your blog? Uh, well, I don't like to, maybe not, because I like just my offense in the blog. <laughs> oh, here's a bag of fake blood. Is that fake blood? Oh, no, this is real blood. Look, it's still bleeding a yeah. little bit there. And that's why, like, Wrestling's that's why fake easy. It is. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of blood. Murph. Look, why are you bleeding in the lake? Well, some blood soaked through my pants. No, no. The he question is, did it come from hard. the inside out or the outside in? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. I had nothing to do with that. I'm That's, it's it's on both legs! Your blood. You're bleeding. The guy puts his bleeding dick on my forehead. Look what happened. Oh, you guys. <laughs> A lot of respect for Bobby Collins and Easy Rider. Both guys have been in the business forever. And they bled buckets tonight. Oh, look at these guys working the ring. Marty's treats are tasty. Marty's treats are tasty. Marty's treats are tasty. We got Marty here. What's going on, Marty? First of all, the fans in Amaranth are fantastic. I was almost deafened from the screaming in the main event when Bobby Collins mounted his big comeback and hit Easy Rider with the trash can. And there was blood everywhere, and the fans loved every minute of it. And it was just... I've spent like the last you know month or so like just completely on the Manville Provincial Election campaign. What a relief to do something like that you can That's actually fun. enjoy and, and, and like brings you happiness, you know? And uh, so I just want to thank the fans everywhere, but especially Amber tonight. It was a, a nice break from what I've been working on 20 hours a day the last while. However, even in the course of that, I knew that it was important to talk about tasty treats. Now, Rob Stardom he is a man who is very conscious about the value of a dollar. And he's very conscientious about not spending money unnecessarily. Now, I seem to remember hearing that Rob Stardom has a love of chocolate. Now, I realize that it's really soft serve chocolate ice cream. I understand that. But generally speaking, you do like chocolate. I remember we've had a few oh, yes. treats exchanged that you were always especially glad. Now, 
you go to the store nowadays, you go to a, a, a you know, the Circle K store, you go to a, you know, the Esso station, you go to Sev, and the price of a chocolate bar now, it's ridiculous. Like, it's so unfair to families and kids where you must, again, I'm, I realize I'm old to you folks, but you go to the store and like for a dime, yeah. or you know, or 25, I remember when chocolate bars went from a dime to 15 cents because the price of chocolate internationally jumped. It's and crazy. then it was like to, diamonds. Yes, it went to a quarter and then 50 cents. And But the price of a chocolate bar, then they didn't want to push it too high, so they started shrinking the bars, yeah. right? What can, where can you get? There is like Dollar Rama, you get a bar now, 87 cents plus tax, but really there's like no place you go and get no. a, and a decent amount of chocolate. So like a small bar, you know, like a Snickers, you have to get Snickers or, or, or any of those bars, right? Uh, uh, Snickers or Mars bar, like this big, and you're paying like a dollar 67. I know, it's ridiculous. Guess what isn't ridiculous? What, what I'm dying You go to no frills, superstore stores like yeah. that. And you get one of these for a buck. Oh! Now this yeah. is particular, I realize, because I happen to like dark chocolate. I know it's oh. not everybody's jam. I get that, and I love chocolate and almonds, oh, chocolate yeah. and hazelnuts. I had one dollar, everybody. Oh. So you can still on the road if you plan ahead. You go to a town like Amaran, going tomorrow night will be in uh, La Brokers, yeah. and you want to get your chocolate fix, but you, you don't want to pay like two thirty nine for no a chocolate fix. These big bars now, especially like the, the Kit Kat brands and stuff, yeah. they're selling in some stores like three ninety. Three ninety nine is ridiculous. One dollar. Oh, that's yes. your tasty treat oh, for I this episode. It. I'm gonna love having it. Would taste you like some? Yes, yes. Thank you, Marty. Oh. This is great. Mm, mm, mm. Even better than Marty paying a dollar. As, uh, I got this for free. Look at these guys are all serious. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Look at you guys. You guys should be a six man. Look at these guys. I need to. I legitimately don't have any footage, so I need. I need this. Ronnie's attitude is giving me attitude. Did you see his haircut? I saw his haircut. Like a young guy. Attitude is everything. I saw that. I saw that haircut. I was in grade five and the little. Hey, come on. You see my haircut? My step kid called me Caillou. Oh. I don't know if I cued your commercial yet, so you should maybe cue it. I need to make a new one. Make a new one. You can make it at home and send it to me. Even it can be fancy. Or you could just put this. Well, buy my T-shirts. I'm almost out, and these might be exclusively the first ever cheap T-shirts. Limited yeah. edition. Yeah. Buy his shirt, so then. Then I can sell the, the cheek shirt for like a premium, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he got one for, for a Rob Stardom shirt. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I lost the short end of the stick on that or one. Your but... mom likes it. Or not your mom. Oh! Like, don't talk about my mom, I'll talk about your mom. Uh, oh, so your mama. I've never met your mother, so I, I can't say anything. Oh, yeah. You just like following me? Yeah, I am. I want to see you guys say something else inappropriate about my mom. No, 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 I can't. Look at Bobby Collins' head. Are you getting stitches? Ronnie. It's all serious. I have announced to a couple of the guys I'm cutting out beer. Cam, I'm cutting out beer for a little while. But we'll just keep playing the gimmick that I'm drinking beer. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin, he switched it on alcoholic for a while. But I don't want the calories because I'm a fat old man. I'm trying to become a fat young man like you. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can cut out all the beer you want, you'll never have the shape of Ronnie out of you. His shape is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> One eternity later. Marvel of Flying J, I want to thank you for getting me home safe. Although I'm not home yet. Thank you for the company. Oh, yes. Always. And now you know all my secrets. Every one of them. Yes, yes. Don't tell anybody. We're taking over the world. So it's 11.30 and I am leaving Flying J's on my way to Selkirk. Now, I freaking love the ride home. Riding with Marty and Merv and Mentalo. I told him a secret share with you that secret so it's not gonna be secret anymore i i think i'm like like wrestling is like an art and i love pro wrestling and i use it as a way to express myself and i've done many different things in my career and there's a couple things i'd like to do and still for my career is over because i'm winding down my career so i'd like to bring i don't want to call it a company but uh deathmatch company i want Winnipeg, I want to be a big part of or help run um, death matches in Winnipeg. Now that doesn't mean family friendly. Rob Stardom won't be there, and not nothing's planned. So I'm just sharing with you my wants and, and dreams. So death match, 
It'd be cool. Every other territory or city and indies have these death matches. So I, I think it'd be good. I think there's a I think there's a market for it uh, if done right. Uh, and then the other thing, the extreme opposite. I really love a weekly episodic studio TV wrestling, and I would love. I love, 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 love to be able to present that in some way, shape, or form in Winnipeg. Uh, we got so much great talent here. Now, everybody keeps asking, Rob, are you starting up starting? No, I'm not. These are just wishes. Like, if you ask me what I want for Christmas, <laughs> you know, I, I would tell you what I want for Christmas. So this is kind of my wrestling Christmas want. So... If anybody's listening to this and go, wow, man, that sounds cool. I want to do this or this and be a part of it. Maybe we make something happen. You know, obviously I work for Canadian Wrestling's Elite. I also for Tony Candelo. Um, so I don't want to step on anybody's toes. But that's kind of my thoughts. What do you think Winnipeg Wrestling needs when it comes to different companies and shows? Leave a comment down below or down below. Uh, you don't see it down below. I don't know where my finger is there. There's my finger down below. I'm driving. I better get back to driving in case the cops come. I don't want to go too deep into this, but I did want to talk about um, contacting me on social media. Um, uh, first off, I love all of my fans. And if you've watched this video, you're watching this, I appreciate you a million percent. Um, I'm available to be messaged 24-7. You can message me on Facebook, on Messenger, on Twitter, on Instagram, any of those things. And I think I'm even on some more. Sorry, I'm an old man. I don't know. Um, but please, you know, you can also use a function on social media. I know you guys know this. I'm talking to you like you don't. To phone people. Please, please, please. Um, don't don't phone me if you don't know me. And, and if you do... Uh, I'll be polite, obviously. I probably won't answer. Just text message is good. But also, don't call me late at night. Please. It was an embarrassing situation where someone was trying to call me the other night. and uh, It is what it is. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry. Please, do me a solid. <laughs> don't do that. I haven't got word yet on how Easy Rider's doing. He was talking about potentially getting stitches. He was bleeding buckets today. Wow. Oh, him and Bobby Collins had a war in Amaranth, Manitoba. So, Easy, if you're watching this, brother, I hope you're okay. Update on my elbow, if you care. It is still killing me. But, uh, Marty gave me some naproxen, and that really seemed to help. But, I might have to go to the doctor, like not today, not like I go to the doctor, and I hate going to the doctor, so I'm probably not really going to the doctor, but it's been like this for over two weeks, I, should, I gotta, I gotta figure it out because it's killing me, I also wanted to mention, I'm sure you've heard me say, I have cut out drinking beer, oh, no beer, um, I'm trying to get in a better shape. I'm hoping uh, I got some, uh, definitely some bookings in the states coming up, and uh, I'm looking at some options for international bookings. So it's good for me to be heavy because I'm strong and I can hit hard. I can hit real hard. Now when I, I international bookings, it's good for me to hit hard for strong style. But man, I need my wind up and I need to be fast. So I uh, I want to drop. I'll wait for it. It's a crazy number. I want to drop 25 pounds. Ugh, that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, tough, tough. I'm an old man. I got to work hard to do it, but I'm going to work hard at it. We'll see. Maybe, maybe what I'll do is I can like track my weight. And, no, I don't want to. I don't put the pressure on what I'm going to share with you guys. So then if I one day go, I'm going to eat chips today and you guys might judge me. I don't want that, but I'm going to work hard on my diet. I can promise you that so I can uh, I can perform better in the ring. I don't know why. My ankle is still bugging me a little bit. Every time I think it's better, uh, but I think it's bugging me because I'm trying to drop the weight. I'm doing a bit more high-intensity cardio, so it's a little bit more pivots and moves and stuff like that, so that's why it's bugging me. 
on my old man knees. Oh man, they suck right now. So I also tell myself, drop a little bit of weight, take that pressure off those knees and make it easier for me to get around the ring and just get around every day. What sucks the most with my elbow, and I'm boring you guys, I'm sorry, is sleeping. If I keep my arms straight, it hurts. If I keep it bent, it hurts. If I sleep on one side, it hurts. If I sleep on the other, it hurts. It literally sucks. So hopefully I can get all this figured out so I can keep my strong fighting spirit in the ring for all you guys. I am officially a block from my house, so you know the gimmick. I'm gonna be quiet so I don't wake up the dogs, I'll wake up the whole family. Do I think that's gonna work? No, but we'll see what happens. And I'm super excited because apparently there's a surprise for me when I get home from Costco. Um, I'm gonna shut up because I wanna go to Rambling with Rob. Rambling with Rob. Man, do I love, I'm gonna take my hat off because of the show. I love pro wrestling and uh, I need to shout out a few guys from today's show. So Easy Rider and Bobby Collins, man, you guys brought your bleeding buckets. Great job, um, but especially a great job to Bobby Collins who lives in that area and really played a key role in promoting that talent for Canadian Wrestling's Elite and drew a hell of a crowd, a live, um, fun crowd that was full of energy. So thank you, Bobby Collins. Um, you may be hearing me, I don't want to be a pity party, but you hear me saying, oh, I'm, I'm trying to drop weight, blah, blah, blah. I'm not drinking beer, all this kind of stuff, but... Uh, I am my love for pro wrestling. There's so many opportunities right now that are kind of being thrown on my plate. And I've been around long enough where I won't believe them until I see them signed, sealed, and delivered. But hopefully what it's going to entail is me bringing the vlog and myself uh, to new states in the U.S. As well as getting on a plane and leaving North America again. So... Never say never. I'm not promising anything, but uh, fingers crossed, and uh, and I hope it does happen so I can take you for that ride. Uh, and thank you everybody for watching this stuff. Um, and I, I don't want to be a downer, but again, you know, don't don't phone me late at night, any of you, please. Even even if you're my best friend in the whole world and I've known you since I've been 12 years old, do not phone me past 9 p.m. Um, I'm on a merch side i've got some cool keychains coming out in negotiations uh with uh rob storm strong style beer which uh i just told you i'm not drinking beer right now but that doesn't mean i'm not drinking beer ever and uh i would give the thumbs up to a rob stardom beer and probably start drinking beer again uh, hopefully i'll drop that weight so then i can drink beer um and then i'm gonna be making some of my own merch i've never done it before I mean, I've ordered shirts to get somebody to do it, but I've got the stuff coming in where I'm gonna try to make my own merch to save some money, to make some more money in my pocket. Uh, so I'll share that adventure when it happens. And I think that's enough rambling for now. Uh, again, thank you, Marty, for your tasty treat. It was awesome. Apparently the brokery, there's gonna be some free food. So super excited about that. Meeting the boys at Deacon's Corner, I think about one or two o'clock. I'm gonna to wait to find out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Come by. The Miss Fitness and Collectibles open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday inside the Malby Flea Market. 421 Mulvey Avenue East, Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you can't shop in person, you can shop online at www.misfitmission.ca. Use code STARDOM and save 10% now. That's code STARDOM, all in capitals, to save 10% off your orders.